and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be an in-depth eye look on this look right here. So I did actually use the Morphe X Japan Hill Volume 2 palette and I give my honest reviews. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if anyone knows me, knows I'm obsessed with Jacqueline and yeah. Let's just see if it's worth the money, if it's worth the hype. If you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So I have decided to do my base first, just because I really want this to be the start stopper of the video. So I managed to get the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. My lovely boyfriend bought me it for Valentine's Day. So I done a look over the weekend and I put it on my Instagram and I asked if you wanted to see me recreate it. So that is what we're going to do today. So I have just done my base and everything else first just so then I can really show you how well these shadows perform. I just want to quickly just say I loved her first one and just even just like looking at it you know I'm not gonna lie I was a bit apprehensive but this palette has not disappointed so I am actually gonna do kind of more of like an Instagram look I have noticed whilst reviewing my own channel all the looks tend to be the same <laughs> So I am actually going to do more of a colourful look today. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know what picture I'm referring to. But I will just quickly put it here so you can see what we're going to be doing today. Um, I want to get this video as short as I possibly can. So I'll probably just do one eye on camera and then do the other off. So yeah, let's get into the video. As always, I will put a picture of the palette in the right side corner in the right side corner so you can follow along if you've got the palette and also so you know which colours I'm using. Uh, just very quickly, I love how they've got the shade names underneath. Something that really bugs me about Morphe palettes is when I'm explaining which shadow I'm using, they don't have a name. So these do actually have names, but I will just stick a picture down for reference anyway. So, um, I need to remember how I've done this. Okay, I'm also in the middle of making a TikTok. Also, does the lighting look better? I'm hoping it does. I don't know whether it's just because I know it's because I edit them all the time, but I notice that my videos are so like flat looking. So hopefully, hopefully this is better. Um, I am just gonna have to use a little mirror. I'm just using the uh, Benefit Browsing's mirror because it's so tiny and so compact. Let's get the show on the road. So the first color I'm gonna go into is Therapy Sesh, which is a really vibrant purple. Um, and I'm just going to take that on a little pencil brush because, I mean, if my base didn't want to crease, that'd be great. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take it on a pencil brush and I'm going to map out my crease. So I'm going to go slightly higher than my normal crease because, I mean, I've said it a gazillion times, I have hooded eyes. So I'm just wiggling the product back and forth. Not really being too precise on where I place it. It doesn't matter if you hit the um, smaller creases because we can clean that up later. But just making sure we get that top line straight and where we want it to go. I'm just wiggling the product back and forth just so we're not losing any pigment. I mean, you ain't gonna get lost, put it this way, using this color. It's so pigmented and it's so vibrant and it's really easy to blend. So once you have mapped that color out, I'm gonna take a clean, this was, well, it is clean, it it's, just, it's just stained, okay? So I'm just gonna take a clean brush and I'm just gonna blend that edge out. And I'd like to look down just so we don't move the product too much. Now with this purple shade, it does blend out to like an almost like light pink, which I really like. It's not um, too restrictive with the color. Again, don't really worry about coming out too far here because we are going to clean that up. So we are just gonna take the color Tipsy Girl, which is this really lovely vibrant pink. And we're just gonna put that on top of the purple as this is gonna start creating our gradient. Now, the trick with any kind of eye look that is going to come up with layers, it's always good to go back in with your original colour just so you don't lose that colour. So I'm just going to take our pencil brush again and then go back into Therapy Sesh 
and then blend the two colours together but also make sure that the purple stands out. I'm also working backwards with my colours as well so we're starting with the darker colour and then making our way up to the lighter colours. Now with this pink colour you do want to take it a little bit higher because when we blend the next colour it will turn into a different colour, if that makes sense. I mean you'll see as I go along. So just going back in with that same colour. So the next colour we're going to take is No Joke which is the bright yellow in the palette. And I've just got my um, Sigma E36 brush, which is just a fluffy, more defined brush. And then we're just going to wiggle that back and forth. I'm not really tapping much off because I do want the colour to pay off. I mean, they're all pigmented colours, but I did notice when I tapped the excess off of this colour, um, I had to keep going in like back and forth with it. Again, blended the two bottom colours together and it creates more like a peachy orange colour. Because don't forget, when you stack colours on top of each other, they change colour. It is literally just like painting. So now that all the crease colours have all been blended together, we're now going to deepen up the outside of the crease and then cut our crease. So I'm actually going to cut the crease first because I'm trying to remember which kind of like steps I've done them in. So I am going to use the P. Louise White Rumor Zero uh, base for this one just because I really want my cut crease to pop. So again, I mean, you've all been here before, on the back of the Laura Mercier. So I am going to take the Sigma Concealer Brush just because it is just so flat and so thin and it's so good for cutting the crease. So I'm going to take most of the product on the edge of the brush because that's kind of the shape we're going for. I can't talk when I do this because I really struggle doing it on this eye, but. I almost kind of stamp it and I always push the bristles together and then I just shade it in and then what I do on the outside I just tap it with my finger because we're gonna need to pull it all together and make a gradient which I still struggle to this day but I'm just going to tap it with my finger and almost kind of bring it out a bit so it's not not as prominent, if, if that's the right word. <laughs> so now that we've done that, very quickly, I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. I'm going to take the P. Louise flat brush. I mean, it doesn't really have a name. And then I'm going to take the colour Certified, which is like a bright white, and I'm just going to stamp that colour where... We did our cut crease like that and then again with the edges just flicking it out ever so slightly not putting too much product on it so it's a bit like that and then with the outside we're gonna do darker colors and then blend the two together I have just got a little pencil brush from Morshi Morshi a little pencil brush from Morphe and then I'm going to go in with the colour Not My Journey which is like an even deeper like plummier purple and then building it from the outside again not forgetting about the crease now we're just focusing it on the outside don't worry too much if you've got a bit of a gap there because we are going to close it up with a different colour and I'm almost winging this purple so it blends into the crease colours. 
And I've got to say, considering I done my foundation and stuff before, I've only just got the smallest fallout from that one colour. So, I mean, I can't really, there's nothing really to complain about, to be honest, so far. I mean, I think they perform really well. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and we're going to go in with the colour Lolly Mama. Lolly Mama, I think. And we're just going to slowly blend the two colours together. That being that bright white and the purple. And then going in with your finger as well. Just so we don't get that harsh lines. But then just keep going back in with the colours until you're happy with the gradient it's really good when you use like these smaller brushes because you get more of a precise placement of the shadows I know when I used to just use fluffy brushes it used to go all over the place and I used to get so annoyed and then just to really sharpen that line up just with this really small brush I'm gonna go in with the color therapy sesh which was the initial crease color and just map around the outside because we want it to be dramatic you know so it's looking a bit like this but just to further deepen up the outer corner I'm just going to take an angled brush if I can find it and the black colour in the palette which is called Temp Temptress Temptress I think and I'm just going to line the outer corner. I'm not going to go too far because I mean it's going to be covered up with lashes but it just means the lashes are going to blend a bit more and then I'm also going to just slightly wing it out so it's looking a bit like that so normally I would just take a makeup wipe but because we've done our face before I am going to take my brush that I do my eyebrows with this is just like a flat shader brush and I'm going to use my concealer to clean up that line so stamping it first and then just blending it out so it looks a bit like that now for fallout I'm gonna do a really daring thing and just take a brush and sweep it off so this is kind of what the eye look is going to look like i'm just going to quickly go off camera and do the other eye and then we'll move on to lower lash line okay so now that i have done the other eye off camera we're going to do lower lash line so to finish off the eyes i am just going to take my really small little pencil brush again and we're going to go in with the color therapy sesh which is that purple and i'm just gonna get as close as i can to my lower lash line so we're just going to mirror what we've done on the top on the bottom i'm just going to quickly do the other eye as well and then i'm just going to take the brush that i used for the yellow which is my sigma e36 and blend the two colors together I've just added a bit of positivity to that purple just because I don't want to go too far down. I'm just going to finish off with some mascara. now that it's done i'm gonna zoom you out and we're gonna have a look at the finished look so i did just pop on some lip liner it's the uh, nyx professional makeup in the shade london i've really been enjoying wearing it it's just an all over lip color but yeah so i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know if you want to see any more colorful eye looks so if you like this video and as always like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video